Attention Pneumothorax. Attention Pneumothorax is a clinical diagnosis whereby the massively raised intrathoracic pressure causes impairment of venous return leading to a cardiac arrest. This is evident clinically as a cardiovascular catastrophe. So the patient undergoes circulatory failure because of the inability of blood to get back to the right side of the heart. Now the radiological signs are mediastinal shift, but don't forget that this can be seen in pneumothorax without tension. But the mainstay radiological sign is flattening or eversion of the diaphragm, which is more specific. Uh, please note that uh, ideally this diagnosis should be recognised clinically without the need for a, a chest x-ray. But occasionally chest x-rays or CT scans do reveal the tension pneumothorax. So the situation of a non-tension pneumothorax, so the patient has a collapse of the lung, they have a pneumothorax on the left side, there is some mild mediastinal shift, but actually the, the diaphragm is not really shifted. In a tension pneumothorax, the first thing that happens is you get depression of the diaphragm with all the other signs of pneumothorax. And eventually, because the pressure becomes so high, you get a situation where the diaphragm is everted. So instead of being uh, concave downwards, it's now convex downwards. Here is a case. Patient had a right internal jugular line put in, and as soon as the line went in, the patient uh, became unwell, uh, they became uh, breathless, and started to exhibit signs of circulatory failure. Now you can see here that the left hemidiaphragm is much higher than the right hemidiaphragm, which is so low it can't even be seen on the film. And if the film were to go a bit lower, I imagine that the diaphragm would be averted and at about this level. So this is a tension pneumothorax. Note also the severe mediastinal shift. This was treated immediately with the insertion of a green needle in the second intercostal space mid-clavicular line. This is a CT scan of a patient who has a tension pneumothorax. Don't forget that the patient is supine in the scanner. Here is the normal side. And the abnormal side shows contusion and depression of the diaphragm. There's a bit more lucency here than can be explained by the gastric bubble. And this is probably a reflection of pneumothorax projected below the diaphragm whereas in fact it is still anatomically above the diaphragm. Here is the CT of that same patient, which shows contusion, pneumothorax. As the scan goes lower, you can see depression of the diaphragm with eversion, and there is really quite a large amount of gas adjacent to the stomach, but obviously above the diaphragm. When you look at this in sagittal section, you can see the uh, extent of the depressed diaphragm with eversion. So in order for the diaphragm to be everted in this way, the pressure inside the pleural space has to be massive. And so the massive increase in intrathoracic pressure impedes venous return to the heart, because venous return to the heart depends on negative intrathoracic pressure, the valves in the calf veins and the calf muscles as a pump. But without that negative intrathoracic pressure, blood will not return to the heart, leading to circulatory failure. So the aversion of the diaphragm is the gold standard method radiologically of diagnosing a tension pneumothorax. This is another case. Patient uh, had a road traffic accident. They've got an intercostal tube in situ on each side. 
you notice that there's ground glass change and that's because there's a combination of pneumothorax and layering posteriorly a hemothorax. But note that you've got depression of the diaphragm with eversion. With mediastinal shift. So even though the patient had a tube in the right place, that tube may have been blocked and the patient did have a, a tension hemoneumothorax.